Okay, my friends, here it is. The video that is going to show you how to grow sweet potatoes from start to finish from sweet potatoes, even if you live in a cold environment. So listen up, guys. I'm gonna say some things about it, and then I'm gonna take you and show you a full season of footage from uh, sprouting the sweet potato slips all the way until harvest. So first thing we have to understand is that sweet potatoes are one of the greatest food security crops that there can be. One, because they are super rich in vitamins and minerals and nutrients, high quality proteins and fibers and carbohydrates, but also because they store longer than really anything else that I've experienced. I, these are from last year, okay, six months old, at no problem, just staying in the basement. But I also have some from the se season before last, 18 months old, which, and they're still just the same. It's like incredible. So they are a very good crop uh, to grow. Now, I will just give a brief overview of it, but then I will show you the direct footage of exact, exactly what I'm talking about. So contrary to popular belief, you cannot grow sweet potatoes in the same way that you do Irish potatoes. If you just cut this up and put it into the soil, you may get some more vines, but you will not get more tuber production. So for that reason, to grow more sweet potatoes, we have to do what is first called sprouting the slips, which essentially, and you can see, you can use one of the two methods that I will show you here in a moment. Essentially, it sprouts um, what, it, what looks like vines. And after they get to a certain point, and after the temperature outside is right, I'll explain, uh, then we're going to pull them from the sweet potato, put them into a glass of water for an additional one to two weeks until they sprout more roots. And then we will take that, which will essentially be a small section of vine with a number of leaves on it with a bunch of roots. And we're going to plant that out into the garden. And each one of those is called a slip. And we will plant that. And each one of those is going to give us about double this amount of sweet potatoes and they're all going to grow just like that we will then uh, at the very end of the season because sweet potatoes take a long time as long as possible so right before frost we're going to dig them up cure them and then put them into the basement and they're going to store all winter long my friends so uh, let us get into it and i will show you uh how to do it Okay, now the first thing we have to do is sprout slips from the sweet potato. Now this is using the glass jar method, of which I will put a link to that video which explains in detail this process. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video so that you can see. But that's one method to do it. Another method is we're going to take these containers and we're going to put about an inch of soil in them. And then we're going to place the sweet potatoes inside the container like so. And then we're going to cover them with... Uh, four to six inches of soil. Now, this is where I differ from most people. Many of the people that you will see this method, they want it to be exposed like this so that you can see, so that the sweet potato gets light. Uh, but I don't like this method because it doesn't produce the greatest amount of roots from the slips. You see when you're leaving it like this? So for that reason, I have found that it is most effective to bury the sweet potatoes under four to six inches of soil. That way they can push up through it and they will have much better, more robust roots. Now we want to take the tray and put it onto the heat mat. This is very important, guys. We want the sweet potatoes uh, are the same like ginger. They are heat loving. And so you can put them on the heat mat if it's 80 degrees, great. If it's 85 or even 90 degrees, they are still going to love it. And the sweet potatoes want plenty of water. Don't drown them, but they want plenty of water. And then after six to eight weeks, you're going to see a bunch of vines like this sprouting out. And we're just going to pull them right from the sweet potato and get ready to plant them after our last frost date. But last year for this footage, I didn't time it right. So these didn't have enough time to go. So you see they just have one tiny little root coming off of it. That's not so much what we want. So we want to take these and put them into a glass of water for an additional two weeks. And then they will get all kinds of roots like you see here. And that's what we want. We want to keep them in the water until they get plenty of roots. And then uh, about a week after the last frost day, after everything has become very warm, we're gonna plant the slips out into our container or into the ground. Now you will see here, this is about a month later after the, the last footage and they are starting to finally grow. They will sit there for like a month or four, three to four weeks and seem like they're not doing much, but they're putting down roots. And then all of a sudden they'll explode with vines all over the place. But it's important that we keep the sweet potatoes mulched. A heavy layer of mulch like this, this leaf mold, 
That is going to keep the soil moist. It's going to help protect the soil food web. It's going to keep it from drying out. It's going to keep it from getting scalded by the sun and the heat. So sweet potatoes will love a nice thick layer of mulch. Also, I'm going to keep the vines trimmed to about five or six feet. You can let them grow all over the place, but they will get unruly fast. If you keep them trimmed, they will uh, focus more of their energy on the tuber production. So here we are at the end of the season. This is late September, I think early October, and uh, they are totally ready to be harvested because we have frost coming in another week or two. And so we are going to uh, get ready to harvest them. Now, I fed these sweet potatoes about every two to three weeks a good quality uh, liquid fertilizer like any of the ones that you see on this channel they love the liquid fertilizers they like the jadam microbial solution they like the fish fertilizer uh, i gave them plenty of ash fertilizer a number of times so they probably got fertilized five times throughout the season give or take and then you're going to end up with this nice boatload of sweet potatoes but as they are right now they are very soft and tender so you want to be very careful not to scratch the skin because that will make them spoil and not store so long so it's very important to cure them and i will put a link to the video that tells you how to cure them right here and that will show you it's essentially keeping them hot and humid for a number of weeks uh, and then you can store them and they'll store no problem. The skin gets nice and tough now here in this video in this clip is uh, I grew them a few years ago in grow bags So I just took one of the 42 gallon grow bag uh, contractor bags, which is just a, a, a Large trash bag poked a few holes in the bottom and filled it pretty much full of compost and then put two or maybe three slips into each bag and that was it I didn't fertilize it. I didn't do anything additional. I mean I watered it of course but uh, I didn't do any additional fertilizer and it loved it. It gave this huge amount of sweet potatoes from just two or three slips. These are a Japanese variety, a white flesh variety, and they yielded really well. Uh, so the grow bag, they do wonderful in containers so long as you can keep the container shaded and moist. And now I've got this whole plethora of sweet potatoes ready to be cured and then ready to be stored all winter long. And I will just keep them in the basement and uh, they will keep that way for a long time. So there you go, my friends. Experiment around with your boatload of potatoes and find the best way that you like. I like to take them, cut them up, boil them in water for about 10, 15 minutes until they're tender enough to pierce with a fork and then drain out the water, add a slab of butter, uh, a pinch of sea salt and a dash of maple syrup and they are divine i eat these all the time in fact this is the root cause of the color of my beard okay so if you feel like you gained something from the video give it a thumbs up also leave a comment first thing that comes to mind just share your thoughts and i will direct you to this video here if you wish to see the water starting method for the sweet potatoes